Hello beautiful friends, welcome back to my channel and if this is your first time around here, thank you so much for stopping by and I hope that you will stick around. Today I have a pretty big haul to share with you guys from my last two trips to Walt Disney World. So I went mainly for Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party one weekend and basically two or three weeks later I went again to try the Food and Wine Festival at Epcot. So these are things that I got during both trips. Um, I'm gonna start with the things that I got at Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party and during um, that trip. However, I did get a bunch of pins, both at Mickey's Not So Scary and at the Food and Wine Festival, and I'm gonna leave all those pins till the very end. So if you're not very interested in pins, you can skip all that part of the video. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to show you, it is something that I got at Mickey's Not So Scary and it is this bucket right here sitting behind me this is a popcorn bucket and i think it is really really cool because it resembles the cauldron from the evil queen and she is my favorite disney villain and as you can see it also looks like the poison apple then around the back it says happy halloween disney parks and it actually lights up and when you look at it it kind of looks like it is boiling and as i said i think it is pretty awesome and it is one of my favorite items one of my favorite that i got at the party i mean isn't that just really cool i love having it back there and yeah it's just a very cool halloween item on to another popcorn bucket this one is oogie boogie this one was actually very popular last year but this year they gave it another twist as you can see this colorful bottom platform thingy and also the strap is all very colorful i'm not like the biggest oogie boogie fan like some people that i know like go crazy for oogie boogie they collect all his stuff and all the pins especially uh, I know are usually pretty popular, but I am a fan of The Nightmare Before Christmas, as you can see. I also have my Jack Skellington mug right here. So yeah, I am a Nightmare Before Christmas fan, and therefore I do like Oogie Boogie as the part of the movie, and I think this would make a great decoration for Halloween. So continuing on with The Nightmare Before Christmas theme, let me show you these. These are character mitts and these are from Jack Skellington and my husband and I actually got these thinking about wait for it playing with our puppy and this was before our puppy Jasper actually started tearing up all of his toys in a matter of five minutes or so we figured especially my husband that it would be a lot of fun to get these to play with him and get it on video and have that as a memory of our first Halloween with Jasper because Jasper is only nine months old now so this is our first Halloween with him and we figured it would be fun to have it as a memory however now we know these are gonna get destroyed pretty fast considering how Jasper has been acting he's on that face he just wants to tear apart all of his toys but um, we're still gonna do it because we don't really have much use for these other than that. And even if they don't last very long, at least we'll have the video to watch back. This is not a dog toy though. Let me point that out. It is not a dog toy. As I said, we just got them because we thought it would be fun to play with Jasper and get a video of him playing with Jax Cullington, King of the Pumpkin Patch. The next thing that I'm going to show you, it is this mug and these I believe were available at Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. This is the celebrating the 25 years of Hocus Pocus and as you can see in the front it says Hocus Pocus Party Potion Magic Kingdom 2018 and it has that pretty cool design and it is in the shape of like a cauldron the black cauldron i love hocus pocus and i wanted to have a souvenir of the 25th anniversary and this mug really caught my eye i think it is simple but so fun at the same time i like all the little details as i said it feels very comfortable and i think it's very cool for the halloween season Later this week, I'm going to put on the movie and sip some coffee in my new mug. So another item for the home that I got are these kitchen towels. 
and I think the design is just adorable. They have this whole design this year for Mickey's Not So Scary, the little vampire Mickey, and then the mummy Goofy, Minnie as a witch, you can see Donald with the little uh, cauldron, and the other towel says, hey pumpkin, and it is a Mickey shaped pumpkin, like pumpkin, happy face. I think that's really cute. This was more like an impulse purchase because I don't really need a kitchen towel. I have some, but I mean, I just saw it and I couldn't resist. I couldn't pass it up because I just think they are so, so cute and they will just brighten up my kitchen. I don't regret getting them. I am happy with these. Hey, pumpkin. And speaking of mummy Goofy, I actually got one to hang on my door. It is already there, so I'm going to insert a picture right now. This is a decoration item that came out this year. I think it is adorable, Goofy looking all mummified. And he's holding a little sign that's a bat that says trick or treat. And it has some accents that actually glow in the dark. As you saw, we have it on our door and I absolutely love it because it is the first thing that I see when I get home since, you know, when I close the door, I see it right there. So it's just a fun little piece of Disney magic combined with Halloween. What's better than that? So let's move on to some apparel because I got quite a few things, especially ears. I got three pairs of ears just during the Halloween party. The first one I'm going to show you are these. I saw these and I was just like immediately attracted to them. They are Maleficent ears, but I love the material on these. I love a little the little feathers. I think that it's just such a cool accent. On the side it says Spellbound. And I believe Disney has some Maleficent ears, but I think these are like a step up. I just love how shiny they are and I don't know, they just scream my name. Maleficent is actually one of my favorite Disney villains. I would say she's probably my second favorite after the Evil Queen. I specifically love the movie Maleficent. I thought that was a really cool spin on that character and I just love the ears. As I said, I mean, as soon as I saw them, I knew I wanted them, so I got them. The other Halloween pair of ears that I got are these, and these would be more like the classic ones. They have similar ones practically every year, but I mean, I gotta say, I love sequence ears. I think they're so cool, especially for the holidays, Halloween or Christmas, and I love the polka dots on the bow. I love that orange color that's like an orange goldish kind of shade. And I must confess something to you. I have some Halloween ears, like the ones that I'm wearing right now. These are from an Etsy shop, but I don't have, or I didn't have, now I do, any pair of ears, Halloween pair of ears from the parks. These are my uh, first. So I really wanted a pair of Halloween theme ears from the parks and they don't disappoint. I think they are really, really cute. But wait, there's more. <laughs> These were pretty popular this year. Um, I think they're kind of different from what Disney has put out there before. Uh, for Halloween, I mean, and I think they're so cool and I absolutely, absolutely love that color combination. Whitish, off-white, orange, and yellow, especially the combination of orange and yellow. I mean, fall is my favorite season of the year and I just love, love, love these colors. As a matter of fact, these are the colors that I used uh, on my wedding, my bridesmaids were wearing yellow and orange, so you know, it's the real deal. This is my favorite color combination, so when I saw these, of course, I immediately grabbed them, didn't even think about it twice, and just a little detail, I love that it says, I'm just here for the candy, and I've been seeing that this year as well for the um, Halloween merchandise that they've come up with. And I just think that Halloween merchandise or really any holiday in general is a lot of fun at Disney. I love getting souvenirs from the holidays. And there's more! Okay, no more ears, but I did get a t-shirt and I love this shirt so, so much. It is also from the 25th anniversary of Hocus Pocus and it has a similar design as the mug, but this one has the Sanderson sisters as well. 
It is really colorful and fun and the cauldron says 25 years of Hocus Pocus at the bottom it says Magic Kingdom 2018. I love that the black cat is featured here and also the castle, the Cinderella castle and look at the back is really cool as well. What do you guys think? I love this shirt. I can't wait to wear it. I am actually going to probably wear it this weekend because I mean I can't wait. And the last thing I have from the Halloween weekend trip, uh, aside from pins, are these two popcorns. And these are candy corn popcorns. I actually got one myself. I actually have got two myself. And I got one from my friend, my good friend Becca. You may know her as Disney Kitty. I got two because I figured I would take one to work and share with my co-workers. And that is what I'm going to do. I will take one of these and share with my co-workers. But I already opened one here at home and I've been eating them here and there and I gotta say I like them. I don't love them as in to eat them all in one sitting because I think they're, they may be too sweet for that but I do like them. If you don't like candy corn you're probably not gonna like them and if you don't like sweet popcorn you may not like them either. I do. I like candy corn and I like sweet popcorn. I think it's pretty fun that they have some candy corn uh, candies like mixed in with a popcorn so I'm really excited to uh, take one to work and share with my co-workers and then the other one I am going to have for myself to have while I watch scary movies while counting down to Halloween by the way let me just uh, show you I'm sure you already saw it but this is the design I've been telling you about it is um, Vampire Mickey, the cauldron, and that is uh, Mummy Goofy, then there is Witch Minnie, and I think that's like Little Devil Donald, and he's holding the uh, cauldron as well. I think it's a really cute design that they came up with this year. What do you guys think? So moving on to the couple of things that I got during the weekend of the Food and Wine Festival and literally it is just a couple of things. I only got two things aside from pins. The first one it is this pair of ears and I just love this ears. It reminds me of um, the holidays, either Thanksgiving or Christmas. I love the colors. Uh, you could see on the actual ears, it says uh, the names of the countries around the world showcase, USA, Morocco, China, Norway, United Kingdom, Germany, you got Mexico, Japan, Italy, Canada, then it also says Food and Wine Festival and 2018 and I absolutely love the bow. The color, as I mentioned, reminds me of like Christmas or Thanksgiving. So these are ears that I'm really looking forward to wearing on videos for, for here, for my channel um, during the next few months. I will be uh, attending the Christmas party at Magic Kingdom in November. So there's a good chance I might wear these if I don't decide to go for an even more Christmassy pair. But I think these are just adorable. They are simple but classy. And the other thing that I got, it is actually a mug. And this doesn't really have anything to do with the Food and Wine Festival. I just saw it and really, really liked it. It is a Cinderella mug and I love, love, love it. I actually have a similar mug, the same design uh, from Snow White and from Belle. And I saw the Cinderella, I hadn't seen it before for some reason, I don't know if it was out or not, but I saw it for the first time at the parks during the uh, Food and Wine Festival and I grabbed it because Cinderella is one of my favorite princesses. It's funny because when I was younger I wasn't the biggest fan of Cinderella, I thought it was kind of silly, but as I've grown older I think I appreciate her, her qualities better, like she's so kind. I absolutely love the live version also by the way, that was such a great movie. So yeah, now that I'm older I really value that quality in her, her kindness, her sweetness, especially how she's so great to animals in general. So yeah, Cinderella is one of my favorite princesses currently and this mug is just adorable. I mean, look at that shoe. It's just bling bling, pretty cool. And also, I love that these mugs have the signature of the princesses inside. 
That is so cute. And can we talk about the carriage? I mean, you already saw it, but just pointing out why I love it so much. Okay, so moment of truth. Let's get into some pins. I'm gonna try to go through these as quickly as I can, but I'm gonna start with the Halloween pins, the ones that I got at Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween. The first one, it is the official Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party pin at Magic Kingdom, Walt Disney World, and I think it is really cute. I get these every year that I've attended the party, so of course I wasn't going to make an exception for this year. I had to have it. This is a limited release pin, and as you can see it says 2018 on top, Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party, and it has Mickey and Minnie with little pumpkins, holding little pumpkins, I'm guessing to collect some candy. Again, Mickey is a vampire, Minnie is a witch, but it's, it's a cute pin. It's nothing that blows my mind, but you know, it's cute. Then I got the Hocus Pocus pin, and this one has the same design that they had for them this year as I've been showing you. This is a limited edition pin. The cauldron says 2018. It is boiling, it is pretty cool. Then at the top it says Hocus Pocus Villain Spectacular, which is uh, their show. And you can see this is actually like a pin on pin effect. So pretty cool. I think it is really, really cute. I don't usually get the pins from uh, Hocus Pocus, but this year it was special being the 25th anniversary and all, so, and I also really, really liked it. Moving on, I got the Orange Bird pin, and this was uh, the pass holder pin this year at Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween. It is a limited release, and as you can see, it has like a slider effect. This one has been pretty popular this year, as my friend Taryn said, it seems like everybody has the orange bird pin this year. Um, I love the details on this one. I love the happy face pumpkins in the front. And of course, it's really fun that it is a sliding element. I am not an orange bird collector, and this may be one of like two or three orange bird pins that I have, but this one is definitely my favorite orange bird pin that I have because, I mean, duh. And the last pin from the party that I have, uh, I actually did not get this one at the party. I had a friend of mine get it for me because I didn't pick it up at the party. And then I saw it and I was like, what was I thinking? This is a, such a beautiful pin. It is Minnie Mouse and she is surrounded by cupcakes. She's actually dressed as a cupcake, holding a cupcake. And I absolutely love her bow. And then the background, it rotates or spins rather. You can spin the background. I mean, I can spend all day doing that. That's just fun. And I just love how colorful and, you know, vibrant and fun it is. On one of the cupcakes, it says Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party 2018. And this is also a limited edition pin, one that I really, really like. And then I got some open edition pins. Uh, this one again is the design for Goofy this year. He is a mummy. I really like that on that tombstone. It says creep it real. Get it? That's pretty cool. Goofy is looking all zombie-like as a mummy. And I also really like the little skull on top of the tombstone. And again, this is a uh, open, an open edition pin. They just came up with these for the Halloween season in general. Then I got this Mickey pumpkin wreath and I love the colors on this pin. I love that it is pretty simple, but at the same time, very Halloween-ish and actually like fall. You can see all the little leaves falling around and I love Mickey's happy face. Well, pumpkin Mickey's happy face. And the last Halloween pin that I got, also an open edition pin, it is Pluto, my favorite Disney character, and I love this pin. He is like howling, which reminds me of my dog. Again, I have a beagle, and he likes to howl sometimes. I think it's adorable. It says trick or treat, and you can see the little like tree branches around Pluto howling, and I love the detail that his collar has like a little, what seems to be a bat in the middle but a bat with a happy face <laughs> i think that's adorable and 
Also, the little detail here that the ore is actually like a little skull. It's like the little details that make these pins really adorable. I also opened some Halloween mystery pins, so if you'd like to see me opening those, I will leave that link down below. And on to the pins that I got at the Food & Wine Festival. First of all, I'm going to go with this one. It is the Pass Holder pin. I think it is so cute because wait for it. It opens up and it is figment. I actually like figment. That is not a very popular opinion. I know he's not that well liked, but I happen to like him. So I think this is a pretty nice pin. It is figment dressed as a little chef and he has food all around what seems to be a croissant and cheese and grapes and he's looking all happy and then when the pin is closed you can see it says pass holder taste your way around the world and it has the year 2018 i think it is a very cute pin then this one is a limited edition pin le 4000 this is donald duck but there is also a cameo in there by Chip and Dale. They are trying to score some grapes and even though I am not a Donald collector, I do like to collect pins from uh, special events such as the Food and Wine Festival. So I really like that. I like that it is so colorful and I mean I love food and I love wine so this works out. It's a great pin for me and I like that it has uh, pin and pin elements here. So adorable. Speaking of adorable, I also got this Snow White pin. She is baking a pie, or I guess she already finished baking it. It is for Grumpy because it is Snow White and Grumpy. And I also think this is such a beautiful pin, great quality. I like that it's also a pin on pin uh, effect. Very colorful, very fun, and this one also a limited edition of 4000. Last pin that I got at the Food & Wine is Chef Mickey with the Epcot Spaceship Earth or the Epcot Ball right behind him. Another pin on pin effect or element and he is carrying a plate that says Food & Wine, Epcot's International Food & Wine Festival 20, 2018. He is looking very happy and I love, love, love that Spaceship Earth is included on this pin. I just love Epcot. So those were all the items that I got during my last two trips to Disney World. You guys comment down below, let me know which one did you like best. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I will see you on the next one. In the meantime, take care, be good, ciao. This is one of the... This would make a great, not souvenir, what is the word that I'm thinking? Very long uh, uh, to have while I have. If you're interested in the... <clears throat>